just rinsing off this beautiful piece of striped bass. Just look at that, isn't it gorgeous? This recipe is really easy to make and it's very tasty. It's simply a white wine and lemon reduction sauce poured over the striped bass. And all I'm gonna do here is just pat it dry after having just rinsed it off. And I'm going to cut this piece of bass into four pieces. And I'm gonna leave the skin on. You can take the skin off if you like. And what I'm gonna do in this baking dish, I've got the oven preheated at 425. And you're only gonna cook this for about 15 to 20 minutes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this white wine and pour it in here. That's a half a cup of just a dry white wine. And then I've taken some leeks. There's about a cup of leeks and you can see that I've sliced them thinly. There they go, all around the bottom. This is gonna make a really nice juice. And then I'm gonna just take the the fish and I'm going to place the fish in the dish, place it along in here. Now this is a non-stick dish. If you would like, you can take butter and you can apply to the bottom of the pan, but we're going to add butter anyway. So I'm just taking some butter and just rubbing a little bit on the top of each piece of fish. It's about two tablespoons of butter here. I'm just taking it and rubbing it on the fish like this. And this will melt and make that sauce very, very delicious. And I'm gonna take just a little bit of lemon juice, pour a little lemon juice all over here, and then salt and pepper to taste. I like a lot of pepper, so I'm gonna sprinkle a little pepper here and just a little bit of salt. All right, so I'm gonna throw this in the oven. There we go. The ingredients that I'm gonna use here in the sauce include just a little bit of water. What I've got here is a fourth a cup of water. Let's just turn it on. We just want this on a medium to low heat. So we want this to simmer. I don't really want to bring it to a boil. And then I've got about four teaspoons of lemon juice, uh, the juice of about you know half a lemon with the seeds removed. And then I have two uh, coarsely chopped garlic cloves here that are gonna go into this. All right, now let me bring these herbs over here. And what I have is one tablespoon of three different herbs, and we grow a lot of herbs here at the farm. And all of these grow beautifully in containers. So if you uh, don't have a lot of space and don't have a lot of time, uh, you can certainly have a few pots of containers around the kitchen door. Um, what I have here is uh, oregano, fresh oregano. You can see it's just coarsely chopped. Oregano grows like no tomorrow. And then here's some thyme. And this is what makes this fish dish very sort of light and fresh. And then of course some flat leaf Italian parsley. You see I have some there just at the head of the stove. And what I'm gonna do is just mix all these things together. All right. Now I like to add a vegetable to this dish. You could stop here and once the fish is done, you could take uh, that lovely um, juice with the lemon and butter and wine uh, and pour it in here uh, and then cook it down to whatever you like. Um, and that would be fine. But I also uh, just like to go ahead and take some very thinly sliced zucchini. And uh, once this begins to heat up just a little bit and it, you're really getting a nice aroma from it now, it's really lovely and there's no wine or butter in it. That comes a little later. I'm just gonna take the zucchini, and what I have here is about a cup and a half of thinly sliced zucchini. We're just gonna let this cook until the zucchini is, is tender. I don't want it soft and mushy. I wanna have a little tooth to it. I want a little al dente, and that'll go right on top of the fish. Okay, the zucchini looks about right. It smells really good, and now I think it's time for us to take our fish out of the oven here. Yep, the sauce is bubbling a little bit. Oh, heavens. Hmm, just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so here, this is what I'm gonna do now. I left the skin on the bottom because I think it just holds together really well. I'm just gonna gently lift the fish out. And I want to serve in this beautiful dish, this baking dish. And then I'm gonna take this juice and add it here to this. 
mix this together a little bit. And then I'm just gonna take the fish back. And then I just simply take the vegetables and evenly distribute them on top. And then I'm gonna take the rest of this lovely elixir and evenly distribute it over the fish like that. And it will be ready to serve. Beautiful, easy to prepare, and so delicious, so light, so fresh, and so healthy.